Welcome to the introduction to the tools feature in School AI. Um, to get to the tools feature, you start on the launch pad or your home page that you will land on after you log into School AI. There are some tools that are highlighted on the launch pad on the right hand side under tools. You see that you can write a lesson plan, a worksheet, or a class newsletter, and then click on See All Tools to take you there. And you can also click on the navigation bar up on top where it says Tools. I'll click on that. And you'll see that there are a variety of tools you can use um, in School AI, a lesson plan generator, multiple choice quiz generator. You can create rubrics, worksheets, time-based activities, IEPs and IEP goals, class newsletters, syllabi, vocabulary lists, performance tasks, and even outline a complete course. Anything that you make will show up on the bottom here under recent documents. And you will also see how many documents you have created under each of these in this section here. So if I go up to the top here and look at lesson plans, to generate one, simply click on the Generate button. And then it's going to ask you a few questions, such as what grade level. And I'll choose kindergarten. And the topic will be um, people who work in our community. Additional details. Focus on service jobs, such as police officers, fire fighters, doctors and nurses, and individuals who serve the community. Standards, you can add standards to it by simply clicking here. We're going to the California State Standards, grade level. I got first through, I'm gonna go ahead and choose other subject. And I'll go in history, social science. I've got pre-K, grade K. Ah, here we go. And then I'll do a search here for community. Uh, let's see here. Students match simple descriptions of work that people do and the names of related jobs at the school, local community, and from historical accounts. This is what I'm looking for. And then I'll go ahead and close this. And then I can also upload files if I've got PDFs of information related to jobs in the community, I can add that. And the chat bot behind all of this will also look at the content of that file as well as what it finds through chat GPT. I'm gonna go ahead and click on generate. And it's gonna generate a lesson plan for people who work in their community as an overview learning objectives, materials needed, the introduction of 10 minutes and a hook with this discussion, a 15 minute guided practice with picture map matching and role play, a read aloud story time of 10 minutes, a 15 minute craft activity, conclusion of 10 minutes, an assessment, extensions, as well as the common core alignment. And so from here, I can go up on top and edit this if I'd like, um, the name on it. Or if I love it just the way it is, I can go ahead and go to share, which will allow me to copy the link and put that somewhere else. I can export it to PDF as a Google Doc or export it to Google Classroom. And under prompt here, it shows me what the original prompt is. So. If I don't quite like what's in here, I can adjust the details on it, add standards, and then tell it to regenerate based upon the changes I make. Also, on the left-hand side here are AI tools, and it asks me to highlight text um, before choosing a tool. You'll also notice that you have fonts, the size of the fonts, bold, italic, underline, um, strike through, Coding, if you want to go dig through the coding to create this, you can add hyperlinks. You can highlight text and create hyperlinks, highlight text, change the text color, and alignment features as well. You can also copy everything on here to paste it somewhere else if you'd like. 
So looking through this, um, you'll notice as I go through here, I get little plus signs. Let's take a look at what these are. If I click on plus, I have an AI writer, an AI image formatting, and I can insert tables, images, columns, and horizontal rules. So if I wanted to add a lesson overview here of say an AI image, um, it's gonna give me a prompt and I can put in here um, a police officer standing near a store in a small town. Click on generate image. And there was also, by the way, an image style, which allowed me to pick a style of what that image would look like. Now, as it's doing that, I notice there's a little slash here. I'm going to get rid of that slash. I can edit within the document itself. All right, this looks better. All right, so I'm going to click on this and say insert. So now I have an image. I can align it to the left, to the center, to the right. I can also make it smaller with the slider right here. And then I've got my learning objective. Students will identify and name common service jobs within a community. I can highlight this and under AI tools, I can add a custom prompt. It can simplify, fix the spelling and grammar, make this shorter or longer, change the tone to academic, business, casual, child-friendly, emotional, humorous. Um, I can make it much shorter here. Um, I can emojify this if I want, and I can translate this too. So if I say, you know what, simplify this language. Okay, give names to familiar service jobs in their community. Same thing here, I can highlight this. AI tools, simplify. Explain the jobs and duties of police officers, firefighters, doctors, and so forth. So I can do that too. Um, flashcards, storybook, brands and draw on paper. I can highlight this. AI tools, and I can say emojify this. I can add emojis, fun little emojis in there, especially if my students are going to be seeing this in the kindergarten level. Um, and I'm going to put this on the board for them and explain to them what they're going to be doing, learning. I can put some emojis in there and so forth. Okay, so let's see, activity, conclusion, guided practice, picture matching, role play. Best and prompt, add flash card activity here. Okay, preview, original text was role play. Now it is flash card activity, create flash cards with images and names of different professions. I'm gonna say insert. So I got rid of that particular activity and decided I would use the flash card activity instead. I'm going to highlight this area here so that it all matches and bold it. And so you can go in and tell it that you want to um, have a different activity, give it a prompt in order to do so, and it will do just that. So you can tell it the prompt to rewrite and so forth um, and add in there if you'd like. And again, from here, once you've got it exactly the way you want it, you can leave it as a document in School AI, or you can export it out to a Google Doc if you'd like. Now, from here, if I go back here to the launch pad, on the bottom, I have my recent sessions. Um, the lesson plan isn't going to show up under a session because it's not a chat bot session your students will interact with. So where would I find this? I can go back to tools. And under lesson plans, it says one document. So as you make documents in School AI, such as a lesson plan, they'll show up here. Simply click on the document and it will give you a listing of the documents that you have. Lesson plans, kindergarten lesson plan, people who work in our community. I can click on that again. I can go up here and just put, maybe I'm a kindergarten teacher and I don't need it to say all of that. So people who work in our community. 
maybe I don't need it to say kindergarten lesson plan, just people who work in our community. And so I can change the title on that as well. I'll go back to tools. And again, my documents will all be listed here. So other things you can do within tools, how about a multiple choice quiz? Generate. Subject and details. I'm going to say that this is a quiz on um, animal classifications quiz. Number of questions. I'm going to bump this up to like, 10 questions. This will be for a sixth grade level. I'll hit generate. Which of the following is not a characteristic of mammals? Birds are primarily known for the ability to, and so forth. And then it gives you an answer key as well. From here, I can share it. And I can also export it over to a Google Doc or to Google Classroom. If you're going to use a Google form to create a quiz, then you could use these questions and their answers. Um, I know that School AI is working on an integration that would produce a Google form with the answer key from this. They're just not quite there yet. But as you can see, you can create quizzes as well. I'll go back to tools, give it a moment. And then I have my single document there. Again, you can create rubrics, worksheets, jokes, story word problems, letters or recommendations, vocabulary list. I go to generate on vocabulary list, topic. I'm going to say the topic for this is mitosis and meiosis. And I'm going to give it six, seven, eight words to define grade level of, I'll say, eighth grade. And then you can dig through standards if you'd like. Otherwise, you can hit generate. And it gives me eight words related. Sonokinesis, gametes, diploids, centromeres, chromatids, chromosomes, meiosis, and mitosis. And of course, I can go back to the prompt and say, you know what? Give me 10, regenerate. And now I've got 10. From here, of course, I can export it to a Google Doc. And then I could build a um, quiz based on this or have students develop flashcards based on this. But it saves you a ton of time. But that doesn't mean you can't go in here and adjust the wording as you please. And even add additional by clicking here, just add an 11th and a 12th on your own if you wanted to. This could save you a bunch of time. So there are a lot of different items in here that you could use to um, use with your students. You can leverage the chatbot that's built in the school AI to make your job a little bit easier. As you can see, there are now two documents under vocabulary list. And so if I wanted the one I made secondarily, I can go over here and delete that first one that only had eight questions and keep the one that has um, 10. I can go in here and rename these if I'd like by clicking and going up to the top left and retitling them. But I would recommend spending a little bit of time clicking through these and seeing what kinds of stuff you can make that might help your, um, your classroom, might help you, that might make your job a little bit easier. All right, so I'm going to stop here on tools. Um, if you have any questions, you can email me or contact me. I'd be happy to help you out in trying to um, build a particular tool that could help you and your classroom out. Right. Thank you.